people didn't want me around because I, I, I was I was an asshole, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I and I would be pushy, you know. You know? Yeah. If I didn't discriminate, I, I hate to say this, I, I put my hands on everybody, you know. And uh, yeah, it sounds like you're a fighter. Yeah, but I also I don't discriminate against my girlfriend's my girlfriend's father when I was a kid, you know. I beat up him. This yeah. a lot of anger, a lot of a lot of. Where do you think that rage comes from? Scared, being fear, fear, you know, not knowing. Cause I feel I people try to not corner me, but I think people have an unfair advantage on me, whether it's through the, you know, being brought up through the bloodline, you know, because I don't know where my parent, where my parents was I a product of rape or was that product of incest or, you know, and maybe it, someone said this to me one time, uh, a, a psych psychologist over there at Brewster, which I don't see him anymore. And I said that uh, if I was a dog, they would have put me to sleep young, long ago. And I said, whoa. Really? Yeah, really, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, I can't yeah, believe he yeah, would yeah, say yeah, that to you. That's, but uh, yeah, he said that. And well, it, that's kind of a harsh thing yeah, to say. Yeah, well, I mean, because I was violent towards him you know, and everybody else there. you know, at, for, at, for a minute, you know, because uh, they wanted to give me my medication. I said, you can't just cut me off. Whether I'm over, whether the doctor from Hayward was over prescribing me, you just can't cut me off, you know? Yeah. And they said, oh, oh, Mr. Hawkins, we, we, sorry, we're, we can't. <laughs> we're going to catch you cold turkey. I said, oh, no, you, can't, you don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll die. You know, this Klonopin, the Klonopin, uh, Xanax, I had Flexerol, I had a bunch of scripts. It was wrong, but she, the, she was cool, the doctor, and hey, we're, you know, I was just going there and talk sports with her. She was, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, 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 the only thing I never really got into was cocaine, you know, which, yeah. So is that your drug of choice? No, methamphetamine and Meth heroin and alcohol. Is all, alcohol is my first love before women. Yeah, before women. Yeah. Yeah. So did you slam? Yes, I did. Yeah. I mean, it's all over, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got. Yeah. 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 No, I get it. I get it. I mean, so I, what, what? If you don't mind me asking, so when was the last time you got high? Last time I fixed. Uh, last time I fixed would be over after that boy died about a year ago. A year ago? Yeah, but then I sat there, blood naked in my room, with a cross similar like that, in a, at, at 2709 Whipple, and a blood everywhere. I couldn't, eight hours, just blood everywhere, and uh, it wasn't happening. And I, and I got on my hands and knees, and I got, literally got on my hands and knees, and I, I was crying. I said, please, put somebody in my life, please. you know, this, why, why can't I be loved? Why, you know, I just, I just broke down. and. Uh, and eventually, that's what I think that one person we talked about. I put my a couple people, but her. Um, it's just weird. Um, I just I just couldn't stop. I mean, if I get paid on the first, I'd be broke on the third, and I'm big 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 borrow and steal till the next month. You know, and it was it was just not right. Mr. Ed. Was, he tried to give me, Ed Reynolds, who was a, was a pillar in his community. He helped, helped. He tried to give me, you know, ju you know, tools. And literally, you know, go here, go there, go there. You know, give me education. Try to school me. Try to show me how to do things. And I, you know, I just didn't want to do it. You know. Yeah. Then he yeah. fell into deep into his alcoholism, and then, you yeah. know, he's, and I just and again, I, I always been a taker. You know, if you give me an inch, I'll take a mile. You know, and. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of good people in this community that people don't realize, like Ed Whitehall, that you're talking about, and other people that I know. Yes. Um, Larry Purcell. Yes, who I judge unrationally. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they're he, good people. He, yes, yeah, actually, these are good people. Very these good are man. people that are pillars in the community, yes. and they do a lot of things behind the scenes that people don't know what yes. they're doing, but they're helping the homeless. They're helping a lot of people.